bad way here. It was, it was just everybody coming together in the second half. I mean, in the second half, but at halftime, everybody just did a great job of just, hey, this is our season, Big Ten titles online. You know, we have a chance to, the second chances don't really come at all. So we just got to do a great job of just making the most of this and try to come out here with a, with a victory. And, I think, I think it'll come down to something. What's it like? Do you guys expect the trade's going to, I mean, he had four points in half day. Do you expect he's going to do that? He's going to go 15, 20 for you guys and get you back in the game? Trey, I mean, he, he scored 15, 20 points. Do you expect that that's coming? He, that he's going to do that at some point? I didn't, we didn't really expect it at all. It was just Coach B, Coach B line just set up the game plan and just have him one-on-one -on -one with the big and just make sure our big set a great screen for him so he have leverage. And, you know, he's a great point guard. He makes the right plays, and today he made a right one. Just going to take it to the basket. Is that fun when, he's, when he says to you guys, spread out, you know, I'm going to hit you? Yeah, yeah, it's great. And, and I mean, the, the defense is not leaving myself or Nick open, so... It just gives him wide open lanes just to go and create for his own and for our team. Nick, you said it's unbelievable. I mean, is that something that's that's a unique situation? I really, I really, I really don't think you see a player like like Trey too often. Uh, I joke around a lot and I call him special, but like I'm being serious, he's a, he's a real special player with a special talent. And tell you saw that in the second half the way he just took over. I mean, is he the player of the year? In my opinion, yeah. I think so. I mean, and when it's halftime, he's got four points. Do you see it coming? I mean, do you, do you know that they, he said that there was some trash talk to him, and that got him going a little bit. Yeah, I heard, I, heard, I heard a little bit going on out there, but, I mean, that's just Trey. He's super competitive, and, and when people get talking like that, um, I, I knew Trey's always up for the challenge, so when he started getting going, so he had a few jump shots, I said, it might be his night, and uh, it was his night. He took over. Isn't every night his night? I'm, if you see his year, pretty much every night has been, so, yeah. What what, uh, what was it like for you last couple days after taking the hit to the head? Uh, and, uh, what, what did that go like? Yeah, I mean, I was the Michigan State game. I was playing to come back in the second half, and then um, during halftime I started throwing up. So they kind of told me, yeah, they kind of told me to, to avoid uh, coming back in that one. And then I woke up next morning, I was feeling fine, and uh, my eye was closed up. Well, that's where the tape is, where the tape's kind of holding the uh, the eyelid up because it's really swollen. So um, I've just been getting a lot of shots up in practice and stuff like that, and I, I knew I was gonna be ready for that. You had you had a rhythm we haven't seen from you in a long time. Tonight, I mean, especially in the second half, did you start feeling it? Yeah, no, yeah, a little bit. Definitely. I was just trying to be aggressive, and, and coach ran a few plays for me, just come off ball screens and stuff like that. And um, I, you know, just talking <laughs> with my parents this week, I just wanted to go back and have a lot of fun playing. And I think that's something throughout the season that our whole team kind of stopped doing is you get caught, you get so caught up in the game that you, you don't realize that this is what we love doing. So um, I was out there, had fun today, just being aggressive. Um, you put up the guy with the big yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, is it starting to get fun again? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, just like I was saying to him, I talked to my parents uh, this last week, and that was a goal of mine. I just want to go back to having fun because I think um, a few times, I mean, I don't want to say I'm taking it too serious, but um, I, I just sometimes I think I'm getting away from what I love. And, um, today, that was one of my goals just to go out there and be aggressive and have fun doing it. Did the um, stitches affect you at all? Or the, any kind of high no, issues? No, no, not at all. I'm, I'm fine. I can see, I can see straight. Um, when you guys had that by 12, what was the message to I mean, to go down? You had one stretch where you did uh, six of the next eight points or something like that, but I mean, was it this is our season, this yeah. is our chance right now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we all realized the opportunity that we had ahead of us, and, and we understood that if we lost this game, I mean, there was going to be no fair chance for us. And uh, we just really came together as a group, and, and we, it all started on defense. We needed to get stops first, and then uh, Trey got going a little bit. I got going to make some big shots, and uh, we were fortunate enough that we pulled it out. How, how much of it was due to, I mean, Trey talked about you guys watching all the last night, and you had another opportunity. Yeah. You've had so many, and you couldn't convert those. Now you got one, yeah. and it's for all the marbles yeah. on so, I mean, Yeah, we realize this is our last opportunity, and, and um, especially for the seniors, I mean, they're for us freshmen, so I know, guys, we want to do everything for them, because I mean, we realize this is our last go with it. And, uh, I mean, finishing with anything less than the Big Ten Championship would be, would be a poor way to go out for them, so uh, we're doing it for the team right now. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir.